and welcome girls and boys to this video vaccine is the end game now, I don't mean it's the ultimate end game it's not God's end game but it's the end game of this so-called civilization which is a civilization that borrowed its ideas its foundational ideas borrowed stolen from an older civilization sort of unbeknown to them in a way that the Sumerians turned up with some old civilization knowledge perhaps as the survivors from a previous civilization and they in turn passed that on to the Egyptians who in turn um, passed it on to the Greeks who passed it on to the Romans who burnt it all so that nobody else could figure it out so they haven't in a sense invented their civilization they sort of nicked it and they've tried to keep it to themselves and they've tried to use it to keep us down um, and keep them in control so this is their the end their end game it's their last hand that they've got to play I'm going to show you a little video about how they do their thing All over Africa, people so just skip here. confident that it could hold on to all of its remaining colonies. The reason for this was that France had cultivated a group of African elites all across its colonies. They spoke the French language, adopted the French culture and were in favor of the French government. The French considered them to be fully fledged Frenchmen and France had been investing more and more money into developing its African colonies. They hoped that by making Africans less poor... So, they create their own class of elite. And you could argue that that's been done in the Western world countries as well in the last 20 years, or a bit more maybe, where you make these sort of people elites that you've trained brainwashed or whatever make them the elites they start putting their ways in place and of course what you get is a terrible outcome or an outcome which isn't popular with the people This thing isn't very good at telling choice. They could either stay with France and have a democracy with their own prime minister, cabinet and parliament in control of most aspects of the colony or they could become independent. France thought that the colonies would want to remain part of the French Empire. But the French were wrong, very wrong. In Guinea, the referendum was held on September 28, 1958 with 95% of the people voting in favor of independence. Four days later, on October 2nd, Guinea declared independence. In retaliation, France cut off all government aid, recalled all of its French citizens, such as doctors and government employees, and took as much government property with them as they could carry. And what they couldn't take with them was destroyed from the furniture to the light bulbs to the government buildings themselves and the other so that's what they do they don't care you don't go their way they just destroy everything so that you cannot succeed the colony saw what the french did in algeria and guinea and decided they didn't want to have those people in charge of them anymore and in just over a year almost all French colonies in Africa declared their independence. The first... Okay. Right. 
So that's how they treat their colonies. Now treat your own countries. Things like the CIA. Some of the tactics they use. The slant that we wanted. The use of forged documents and false documents is another uh, area in which the CIA can bring about a very timely um, uh, effect. In Ecuador, for example, we uh, at one point wanted to uh, expose the preparations for guerrilla activity of a particular organization. And while one of its leaders was in Cuba on a trip, we wrote up what would appear to be the way we wrote it, his report to the Cubans. We put this report in a toothpaste tube. This was planted in his luggage when he returned on this trip and discovered by our people in the um, Treasury Ministry. And he was immediately thrown into jail. And when the report was finally published in the newspapers, it caused a sensation all across the country. We were able to force the Ecuadorian government to break relations with Cuba. And at the same time, we were able to promote repression of left-wing political organizations, eventually establishing a military junta, which took over in July of 1963. So that's how they take control of your country. Go. Right. We are go. So yes. Hello. This is the end game. Has anyone seen that uh, alien phenomenon documentary? I mean there's some truth in that. But I don't know. It's going to get used I think. But this crazy lockdown. It's all so crazy is that they can justify giving everyone the vaccine and that's why I think it is the end game <clears throat> Revelation 13 11 then I saw another beast which came up out of the earth it had two horns like a lamb's but spoke like a dragon it wielded all the authority of the first beast in its presence and made the earth and its inhabitants worship the first beast whose mortal wound had been healed. It worked great miracles, even making fire come down from heaven to earth before men's eyes. So it's talking about America. The second beast is America. The homage it pays to the first beast is like Britain and the other European colonies. So that miracles fire coming down to earth as nuclear weapons they drop them on the planet by the miracles it was allowed to perform in the presence of the beast it deluded the inhabitants of the earth and made them erect an image in honor of the beast that had been wounded by the sword and yet lived so just reiterate it deluded the inhabitants of the earth and made them erect an image. Did they make us erect this image? Did they make us worship this image? With the DNA? It was allowed to give breath to the image of the beast. So that it, could, that it could speak and could cause all who would not worship the image to be put to death. Moreover, it caused everyone great and small, rich and poor, slave and free, to be branded with a mark on his right hand or forehead. And no one was allowed to buy or sell unless he bore this beast's mark, either name or number. Here is the key, and anyone who has intelligence may work out the number of the beast. The number represents a man's name, and the numerical value of its letters is 666. Well, millions of people have pondered over that, and it's in brackets. Did someone add it? 
Oh, they're in trouble if they added something to Revelations. But when it says it caused everyone, great and small, rich and poor, slave and free, to be branded with a mark. You know, everybody is supposed to have this vaccine. doesn't matter what caste you are or what creed. Everybody is supposed to have this vaccine. And if take-up of the vaccine isn't very good, are they going to start using draconian methods to enforce we have it? I think there can be no other ex explanation this is their own game because if we take this vaccine then we then we need to take all the future vaccines so this is critical decision point and nobody is making there is really very little resistance the vaccines are getting put into people um, it's a risk that RNA is a single helix, so it's not full DNA, but it's a single helix. It's what the body uses for messages to to get DNA to change, to what for whatever, however they want it can to do, to kill itself off, to go into hyper mode. You can these genes have all these codes that you can. You can make them change how they act, not just what they are. And there's no ends to what they can do. And if they've been studying this for a long time, then it was allowed to give breath to the image of the beast, so that it, that it could speak. So a DNA message is an RNA. That's DNA speaking. An RNA is DNA speaking. And it's in a language that other DNA understands. So you put it in someone and it tells it what to do. What else? What else could it be? What else could it be? Okay. Ciao.